Hi there. My name is John and you're watching Side Hustle Jacks. I wanted to come on really quick and show you guys what has sold for us over the last three days. Today is June 18th. It's a Tuesday, 2019. So these sales started on Sunday. It's been pretty slow for us, but uh, we're really happy with any sales we get. So let's do it. As you saw a second ago, we sold a lot of two Canon ink cartridges uh, for $16 and free shipping. Those ink cartridges came in a large box of ink cartridges that we got at a single garage sale. Uh, they're not all usable, um, but a lot of them are, and we'll definitely make our money back on them. I have no idea what we spent on them, but it wasn't much. It was like in a large lot of stuff. Um, we probably, we have, we've had two sales already of ink cartridges from that lot, and it's probably already paid for. Um, one note about ink cartridges, if you're going to resell them, they do expire. Um, so you can come, I've come across them that are like over 10 years old. You need to note that in the listing. I learned that from Jeffrey Clark. He is a super reseller. He runs the Facebook group I'm a part of called The Sorcerer's Apprentice. I recommend any aspiring resellers or um, any resellers join it. It's a great forum uh, to post your successes and ask questions questions. I've asked tons of questions and learned a lot of stuff there. In fact, I learned about the ink there because I posted that I threw out, I had thrown out a ton of ink that was expired and he was like, oh no, you can sell that. I was like, oh man, I felt dumb. But that's how you learn. That's how I learn. Uh, the next thing we sold was a pair of denim skirts. Um, that's like a denim skirt with little shorts on the inside. Beth found those at the bins, the Goodwill bins. It's a Goodwill outlet large warehouse type place. Uh, so that's about $1.49 a pound. So it's about $1.49 for those since they're about a pound. And those sold for $14 with $7.35 shipping. Uh, the next one was a lot of two Guns N' Roses tape, Use Your Illusion 2 and Lies, two of my favorite Guns N' Roses tapes uh, by Geffen Records. Uh, I found those on uh, the driveway in a free bin at a garage sale. So I took them and I was like, you know what? Someone's going to buy these. So they sold for $9 plus seven sixty two shipping. So that's like $9 I found on the ground. This I also found in the free bin. It is a, you know, food thermometer, meat thermometer. Uh, it was in a free bin and I sold that for $9.99 plus $2.79 shipping. It's going to go first class. Uh, free money, $9.99 free money. Next thing up is a pair of Wrangler pants, the Wrangler men's pants, cowboy cut, uh, 36 by 30. Uh, those sold for $10 plus $7 and 35 cents shipping. So that's, uh, we probably got those for 99 cents at the 99 cent day at the thrift. And so we'll make $9 on those, like right around $9. So not, not crazy, but it's something better than nothing. Uh, next one is pretty fun. It's like a retro 80s. Uh, Beth called it a mainframe peplum vintage 80s blue dress, size 9. That was also a bins find. Beth pulled that one out of the bins, and she loved it. So we took it, and it sold for $21, free shipping. Next thing, also Beth found that. This is a Fidelipak magnetic tape eraser, uh, bulk degosser, model 400. Uh, so something I never knew about. You can uh, erase VHS tapes or reel-to-reel -reel tape. And it was something that uh, a lot of media companies used. Um, video houses um, used to be very necessary back in the day. Now, not so much, just for specialty people. Uh, that we got for $8 at Goodwill. Beth pulled it, so I got to give her all the credit. Um, we went into Goodwill on Saturday with the intention of kind of competing against each other, see what we could find in, in about an hour or less, and uh, see what we could flip for who could get the biggest flip. And uh, I think she pulled it right there. We do have one other thing that she pulled that's listed pretty high and we'll see if it sells. It hasn't sold yet, but this thing sold. We listed it Saturday. I asked uh, some people on my Facebook group on the Sources Apprentice how to how to test it, uh, super easy. And they let me know. And so we tested it, it works, it's cool. That sold for $65 uh, with free shipping. And that's going international. Somebody in Greece bought that, so they're gonna have to pay shipping uh, to eBay once it gets to eBay's uh, shipping hub in Kentucky. So 65 bucks, we'll take it. Spent eight on that. Uh, next is uh, Levi's 515s. Uh, those sold for 18.99 with free shipping. So again, we made about 10 on that. Shipping jeans uh, is like 6.95 per pair. So 
uh, and you can take away fees. So made about $9. Uh, next is a garage sale find. Uh, really good condition binoculars from Sears. They're vintage. Um, I had these listed at 52. A customer started messaging me about them, asking a lot of questions. They were really interested. Uh, truth was that the comps were more like 24, 28, 30. Uh, I listed it high because they're like in super good condition. I mean, they're like brand new. They're, and they have all the accessories and they're just like really, really awesome. Uh, but the person really wanted them and uh, I guess I wanted to make a sale. I made a deal for 30. So 30, free shipping, I'll take it. Uh, we got those in a large garage sale lot. Uh, we couldn't have spent more than five to $10 on them, but I think more like five. Next uh, were these Tom's strappy espadrille wedges. I've learned more about women's shoes in the last year than than uh, most women do in a lifetime, maybe. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. But I know a lot. Um, I've had these for like a year, uh, so really wanted to sell them. Kept, kept dropping the price. Had few interested buyers over the last year, but nobody ever bought them. So they sold for $10 plus $7.85 shipping. Who knows? We might not. We probably didn't make almost maybe nothing on those, but I was happy to see them sell. Next were these, man. These are beautiful Cole Haan um, plain Oxfords. They are like a blue leather, maybe even pigskin, but they're blue to beautiful soft leather. Uh, had those listed for 55, had a lot of interested folks, lots of watchers. Somebody finally started making offers and Beth went back and forth with them and we ended up selling them for $41 free shipping. These were a Benz fine, like I said. So again, Benz at our Benz, it's $1.49 a pound. Let me say that those are maybe three pound shoes so that, you know, let's call that $3, three, maybe maybe $5 for those shoes. Um, so awesome sale. We're happy to have that sale. Uh, another ink cartridge from the same lot. Um, we, these actually sold today. Um, we had two of these listed for $7.99 plus free shipping. So they both sold to the same person. So that's what, $7.99, that's 16 bucks free shipping and we're happy to see that go. That's from that same lot as the earlier one. Um, I, do, I wanted to really quick, uh, kind of, kind of let you guys know what, like what my story is. I, uh, have been reselling for just over a year now. I started out on Amazon with books, got really interested in eBay as well, and just, uh, kind of found the, the, uh, barrier to entry a lot less on eBay. I'm still really interested in Amazon and I, I feel like it's in my future, but right now we're going really strong on eBay. So um, I follow a lot of people on social media and that's how I learn all this stuff. I can't really take the credit other than going out and taking action. I watch a ton of videos, follow people on Instagram, and then I go out and do it for myself and make mistakes. So I wanted to shout out a few people. Um, first of all, Rake and Profit. Uh, you can find him on YouTube and on Instagram. I've learned a ton from him. He's a you know seemingly awesome dude, and he puts out a ton of content. And I got nothing but respect and uh, gratitude to him. Uh, another person is Gary V. Uh, got to follow the flip with him. He's uh, he has a great series now called Trash Talk, where he's going to garage sales. But he's an entrepreneur, kind of motivational speaker guy who really inspires me. Um, also wanted to shout out to Reezy Resells. Also, he's on YouTube, uh, Twitter. Instagram. Uh, he does a lot of books on Amazon himself and does a lot of shoes on Amazon. So he's always great to watch. Uh, I, I like to watch also the Bonafide Hustler. Chris, he is probably really inspiring because he goes to tons of garage sales and makes money there. So I, I watch him a lot now. I've kind of, kind of <laughs> am glued to his channel recently. Um, let's see who else. Like I said, Jeffrey Clark on the Sorcerer's Apprentice great group, very supportive, lots of good information. And so, yeah, like I said, I've been doing this for about a year. I left my corporate job uh, about three months ago. And so right now I am driving full time with Uber and doing this on the side. And my wife, Beth, is actually, she's taken the reins mostly in the reselling business and she handles it daily uh, full time. She's doing it full time. We are not making full-time in income, so you know I don't want to give anybody any illusions. Uh, you could tell by my sales that our average sale price right now is way too low. We we know that. Um, 
we're kind of trying to sell everything right now and see what goes quick and we're learning quickly and we're we know we're finding better stuff and we'll get there but uh you can tell just by our sales like the items that we've sold you know that you can't make a living like that you just can't uh, you'd have to have thousands of thousands of items listed we have about we have we're approaching 600 items listed on ebay um, and we sell, you know, anywhere from zero to eight items a day. You know, we've, we've had a couple zero days in the last week alone, which was kind of unusual and a little bit scary, but, um, you know, the products are there. We know they're, they're worth buying and selling. So we just keep moving forward and we know that in the summertime it slows down. So we're just kind of dealing with that and we're, we sell heavily in clothing and shoes and, and that definitely from what I've learned slows down in the summer. So we're going heavy into hard goods. Well, that's why we're hitting the garage sales hard and looking for those things at the Goodwills and the thrift stores and uh, going a little lighter on the clothes during the summertime here. So that's, that's kind of my story. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, and again, let me know if you, if you saw any issues with any of the items that I sold with how I priced them or, or in the marketplace where I sold them or any, any questions at all or comments, I'd be happy to, um, hear them or take any, any tips you got. Cause I, I know that I'm still learning a ton, but other than that, have a great week. Thank you.